So I've been looking for, oh gosh, over a year, I think, just on and off. And I wasn't getting anywhere. People kept coming back to me and saying, we don't like you because you don't have this experience and X, Y, Z. This group, you guys, will help folks like me think beyond what is possible. And it all helps really to get to your dream job. And that's what happened with me. Where were you before working with us? The first thing I brought up was this mindset piece that you just talked about. Had you been looking for a little while or tell me more about your situation again? I had been. So I've been with Bank of America for like 10 years. So it's been a while. And I was trying to send my resume out. I worked with some other folks before my resume. My resume didn't get a lot of traction. But um, anyway, so I've been looking for, oh gosh, over a year, I think, just on and off and within Bank Bank America, I really try to get something in a different space within the, the Bank of America teams. And I wasn't getting anywhere. People kept coming back to me and saying, we don't like you because you don't have this experience and X, Y, Z, all the things that we talk about, um, objection wise. And I, I'll admit it, like in the very beginning of the program, it was really my confidence. I was like, I know I have 10 years of experience. Which is crazy because you look at yeah. Hey, I've worked at Bank of America for 10 years. You were promoted multiple times. Now you're in SVP, strategy and execution. So you've had a good career there, but you know that, like I say, most of the time you were here in your career, but you knew your potential was, you know, just higher. So how did you get to the point again to where, you know what, I think I need help? What really got me was one of the testimonials. I, I listened to one of the guys that actually works for Bank of America now. I, I listened to his testimonial. I listened to some other guys' testimonials. And I was like, all right, like this guy is legit. And what really got me was the guy who uh, was talking to me. He's like, you don't leave the program until you find your job. And I was like, yeah. I'm sold. If yeah. you guys are going to stick with me until I find something that I'm happy with, I'm sold. That's how I got into the program. And then I'll admit it, like it's a lot of training. <laughs> it's a lot of videos yeah. to watch. But all of that was really helpful. I, I listened to some of them a couple of times. And then the mindset with Christine, like, I always tell her, and I've told other people in the ECU program, she was my back pocket like weapon. Mm -hmm. I, in the beginning, as I mentioned, my confidence was just shattered. I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, like, what am I doing? Like, I'm an SVP, but God damn it, like, I don't feel like one. My, I don't, what have I done? Like, what are my skills? What can I bring? And so that was the whole process in the very beginning. Like watching the videos, there's certain things that you say in the videos that I still think about. Like if it feels wrong, if you feel uncomfortable, easy. just do it go do it what's stopping you and so those are the little tidbits that i have like sort of ingrained in my mind and your program really sets people up for future success that's why i tell people when they leave the program to not stop networking with other leaders you know that's like super important they're going to be your army of advocates when you want to make your next move back to the videos and all the coaching clinics we hold every week absolutely we give tons of support we try to be very specific because hey we got a lot of work to do i wish it was as easy as giving you a couple interview tips and saying, hey, you can do it. But hey, it took a lot of mindset shifts. It took a lot of training and developing. It takes activity and strategy to develop to get to that point. What you find most valuable about working together. Some people have said it's the community of other people. It was the coaches. Some people have said it was the videos of the automated system. What did you find most valuable while we were working together? I'd say it was a mindset. For me, that was hands down where I needed the most help. It was finding my confidence again. And once I got that, the networking calls went a lot easier. I, I went in there knowing what to ask, being very relaxed in these conversations. So even if like I could just sense that it wasn't going that way well, I was I was confident enough to say, hey, you know what? Thank you so much for your time and like being okay and getting off the phone and knowing I have these other things that are lined up. And because I felt like I got my confidence back, I was able to remain positive. I tell people it's just like dating, right? Not every single date you go on are you gonna be like, I wanna marry this guy. And it's right. the same way with the job interview, right? You're going to go on ones where you think this is my title. This is a cool company and you're going to go on the interview and be like, you know, at the end of the day, the goal is getting you on as many interviews as we can each week because sometimes 
you're not going to feel it. They don't resonate with you and you're going to have that one that does. And the only way to do that is to make sure to keep that pipeline full on you. What advice would you have for someone who's considering working with us? Really think about the potential mm -hmm. and the possibilities of where you might go. This group, you guys, will help folks like me think beyond what is possible. And at least for me, just sticking with it, sticking with your regimen, watching the videos, the taking calls. advantage of everything and all the extra sessions that you can set up with Christine and the coaching session. Take advantage of it all because it will work. It all helps really to get to your dream job. And that's what happened with me.